kindergarten class and third the advisory of Mrs. Ellen Novi Galup.
Ernesto and this is Joanne L. Rana. program please remain standing for an invocation by Mrs. Kani Severi and this will be followed by the Philippine National Anthem then the singing of Central Philippine Adventist Elementary School philosophy vision and mission okay let's make our uh, find our place to for us to pray let's settle our great father in heaven we bring back to you the honor and glory as we have this celebration of your goodness to our children and of course to CPAC Elementary School. We thank you, O Lord, for thou art the omniscient Father, who is the source of all the wisdom you have given to these children and teachers who have prepared this program. We pray, O Lord, that this program will give glory to your name and not to ourselves. We pray for each participants that they will be able to render their parts and be an inspiration to the young generations. Bless the parents, bless the sponsors and guardians, teachers and administrators of this uh, institution. And we pray, O oh Lord, that this program will be acceptable unto thy sight. We ask all these things with the forgiveness of our sins, in Jesus' dear name, amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. <coughs>
Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. sang awit ng Pilipinas. Handa, awit. Bayang magigil pa sa silanganan Harap ng puso sa nitinoy buhay Lupang himirang tuwer ka ng maritig Sa malulupig pinakasisig Sa dagat at puno sa simoy at sa langit our philosophy mission and vision i would like to invite our grade 6 our graduating class to please lead it upstairs
Thank you very much, graduating class. Please take your seat. We are pleased to inform you that our uh, CPAC Vice President for Academic Administration, Dr. Julie Joy Lassificar, and Vice President for Finance Administration, Dr. Pearl Relmi Arevalo are here with us in this significant occasion. And of course, our guest speaker for this morning who will be introduced to us later. So to set the tone for today's event and to formally welcome us all, we will have uh, Grant, Rick Grant Solis, our pupil from kindergarten, our president from kindergarten. This will be followed by Rizal Faya F. Arevalo, the vice president religious of our graduating class. They are to deliver the welcome address. Let's give them a round of applause. Amazing morning to all. Honored guests, dear parents, beloved teachers, family members, friends, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to extend to all CPACES warm welcome. We are happy that you joined the Moving Up ceremony. This ceremony recognizes the learners' achievements. Your presence this morning is a demonstration of your love and support. We are also, you, your presence inspires us. Thank you for coming. This year has been a great year. As a kinder, I enjoyed playing with friends and classmates. I was excited to join the Moving Up ceremony. I was excited to join I was excited to join school activities like United Nations celebration and and science and math week during during United Nations celebration I felt like I traveled different countries I was amazed at the experience and creations of my schoolmates during 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 since during science and math week when we <laughs> as we close this year let us let us let us save the good things we learned in our memories let us let us look forward for another beautiful year again well thank you again welcome and enjoy the ceremony Amazing morning, everyone! It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you students, parents, families, teachers, and faculty to the 31st Commencement Exercises 
of Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School. To those who are not familiar of the graduating class, let me give you a little introduction. We are the class Unoya, means a pure, well-balanced mind, good thinking, a beautiful spirit. We chose this name because it tells that we are beautifully crafted by God, exactly like this. We aspire with passion, worthwhile goals and ambitions, and want to use our lives to help create a difference. I stand here looking back on all the years we have spent and made together. I can confidently say on behalf of everyone that our journey has not been easy, made especially difficult because of the pandemic we have experienced for an estimated time of two to three years. We missed being able to learn one-on-one, -on -one, take part in events that enhance our skills socially, spiritually learn through nature, and create wonderful nostalgic memories physically and emotionally. It took time to adjust to the online and modular classes and lessons which we were not familiar with. But we were given a chance to enjoy being together again for a year before our graduation. The Lord has truly been good to all of us and has granted the prayers of those who prayed for this. Now, we are here to witness the proud and delighted faces of the students as they take part in this memorable, cherished, exciting, and heartwarming event and the parents and guardians who I'm sure will be proud to see the achievements of their guided children. My prayers for everyone to enjoy and be blessed with this wonderful program. I am Rizel Feya Ferrer Aravalo, Vice President Religious of the Unoya Class 2023, saying welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless. Thank you, Grant and Rizel Feya for the warm welcome. To inspire more our graduating class, we will be hearing an inspiring message from our guest for this morning. The one who will introduce our special guest is Mrs. Esther D. Suniko, one of our parents from Unoya 2023. But before her part, we will witness first a musical rendition from the elementary choir this is entitled the battle of jericho the battle of jericho shows that god was the one who knocked the knocked down the wall it shows how god keeps his promises and provides help for his people even when they face a dire situation ladies and gentlemen the CPAC Elementary Choir.
Our guest speaker for today is the eldest daughter of Mr. Rico and Ma'am Emmeline Joy Maglana. She studied at Adventist University of the Philippines during her first grade and from grade 2 to 6 at CPAC Elementary School, which became her alma mater. Her high school years were spent at Negros Mission Academy now Adventist Academy Bacolod. She took a Bachelor of Science in Nursing here at CPAC and is now a registered nurse. Currently, she's finishing a dual master's degree, Master of Science in Nursing and Master's in Business Administration at Adventist University of the Philippines Graduate School. She loves reading, writing, playing football, hiking, baking, and hosting. Unoya 2023, pupils, dear parents, friends, and teachers, let us give the time to our speaker, our very own Miss Kaylin Floor A. Maglana. Thank you, Unoya, class of 2023. You may now take your seats. As an alumna of CPAC Elementary School, I am greatly honored to be part of this program to be able to give you young people, your bright minds, some words of encouragement and inspiration. All right, so before I begin, I would like to tell you just how much CPAC Elementary School means to me. In particular, there are three words that stand out. CPAC Elementary School is to me a refuge. A refuge, why? When I first transferred to Manila for my grade schooling, for first grade, not many know this, but I was actually bullied a lot as a young child. I was bullied by those who were bigger than me and who could speak um, Tagalog much better than I could at that age. I was bullied then. But when I transferred back here, I was expecting the same. Honestly, I was expecting the same. However, the kids at CPAC Elementary School were such good friends to me. They treated me so well, and their friendship to me was very healing. And that is why the friendships that I made at CPAC Elementary School continue to be friendships and bonds that I keep to this very day. And that's why it is for me a refuge. Secondly, CPAC Elementary School to me is a foundation. You know, most of the success that I have enjoyed in my academic and even in my non-academic endeavors in life are because of the influences and the values taught to me at CPAC Elementary School. The school has provided me with a creative outlet 
because of CPAC Elementary School, I was able to join competitions and contests. And it was there that I was first trained to hone my public speaking skills. It also taught me to be diligent. And I'm sure you're all very familiar with how strict Sir Even can be. And it is because of him, oh, I, I heard a resounding yes, sir. <laughs> it is because of him that I was taught diligence and obedience to not be content with half-hearted measures. If you can do something right, if you can do it and give 100% of yourself, even with just a little project, do it. I was taught all of that. I was also taught alertness and leadership and even management skills at a very young age because of CPAC Elementary School. Lastly, it is to me a home. A home, why? Because at CPAC Elementary School, I have felt this special feeling of belongingness in the spiritual sense. The school was not the first to teach me about God, but it is one of the first and the finest environments that taught me about how, or that rather that encouraged me to think about God, to be closer to Him, and to live a life that was centered on God. So wherever I may find myself in this world, I know that I will always have a home at CPAC Elementary School. And so I would like to commend the parents and the guardians of these young people for choosing CPAC Elementary School. And I hope students, especially you know it 2023, that when you look back years later, you can always look back on the memories you've made in this school with much fondness, especially the values taught to you by your teachers and, uh, and your peers. All right. Before I continue with my talk, I always make it a habit to start with somewhat of a trivial game. So, Unoya you know, 2023, we're going to play a game today. It's a very fun game that will somehow, um, uh, what do you call this, which will somehow encourage your mind to think creatively. And we're going to see just how far you can take your creativity. Okay? Don't worry. No matter the results of this game or this simple test, you can always change the outcome. Your minds are very powerful enough to do that. And um, to the parents who are here today, to our guests, and even to the teachers, you may play along with us. Okay, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow my instructions. Are you ready? You know, at 2023, are you ready? All right, good. So, imagine, you may close your eyes while doing this. Imagine that you are walking through a forest. You hear the sounds of birds. You hear forest sounds. You can imagine what those forest sounds are, okay? So you're walking through the forest. Close your eyes. All right. You're walking deeper and deeper into the forest. And then suddenly you see a house up ahead. You see a house. Now... I want you to use your imagination to think up of what the house might look like. How big is it? And most importantly, does the house that you imagine have a fence? All right. Does it have a fence? For some of you, some of you might like a fence. How tall is the fence? How big is the house? What is the house made of? Is it made of glass? Is it a very, very big house, sort of like a mansion? Is it a small house? somewhat like a nipahat. Okay, you can be as creative as you want, students. Are you done? You have a house already? Okay, let's continue. As you enter the house, you open the door. And inside of the house, as you continue to walk in, you see a table, one table in the middle of the room. Now, I would like you to again use your imagination and think up of what you see on and around the table. Are there perhaps board games around this table? Maybe there's food. I heard food. Or maybe there is nothing on this table. You are free to use your imagination. Are you done, Unoya 2023? All right, you may now open your eyes. Okay. 
let's try and explore what your answers might mean. So again, as you were walking into the forest, what was the first thing you saw? A house. Okay, very good. Now, students, actually, uh, what you imagine is trying to tell you of what the reality you might be imagining might be. Okay? So, according to the person who made this test, the house that you imagined, rather the size of the house, correlates or is somewhat um, near to your ambitions as a person. Now, I've seen your program and I've seen that some of you would like to be lawyers someday. Some of you would like to be doctors. Some of you have big dreams. Some of you have very simple dreams. And so the size of your house correlates to your ambitions. If you have a fence, if you imagine a fence, you are somewhat of a closed-off person. If you do not have a fence, then that means you are someone who tends to share a lot about yourself. Okay? So whom of you, Unoya you know, 2023, imagined a very big house? Sort of like a mansion, like me. All right, I see a few. How about just a, a small house? All right, okay. So you have very simple dreams. Oh, I see a lot more there. Okay, now, what's the next thing you saw when you went, into, went inside the house? A table, okay. So, you know it, 2023, the table is an indication of how happy you are. The more things you imagine in and around the table, the happier you are as a person. So I hope you guys imagined a lot of things on that table. If there was a lot of food, that's a good sign, okay? The fuller it is, the more happy you are as a person. Now, uh, I just wanted to play this simple game or simple test with you because I wanted to I just wanted you to think about how amazing your brains are. The things that you can think of, the possibilities that you can imagine, and the realities that you can enact in your mind are so vast and so precious. All right, Yunoya, you chose a very unique name and a rather unique philosophy as well, Beautifully Crafted Mind in Christ. Let's explore what your name means. I'm sure you already know as a class what your name means. But I would just like to commend you at how beautiful the name you've chosen is and how unique it is. So it actually comes from two, two Greek words, you meaning good or well, and nos meaning mind or intellect. So eunoia can be rightly understood as well mind or beautiful thinking. In our words today, we can think of it as goodwill, or a positive and a kind mindset. No matter how beautiful this word is, I would like to commend you further, Unoya2023, because your name, the name you've chosen, is a preparation for the battles up ahead. Because why? Your mind is a battlefield. Are you aware of that? Have you heard of the story of the two wolves I'm sure some of you might be familiar with this one. You know, this is actually an old Cherokee teaching about how life goes. So there is actually, according to the story, a fight going on inside each of us between two wolves. One wolf is evil, one wolf is good. Which one will grow? The answer is, whichever wolf you feed. And so, Unoya you know, yeah, 2023, we are reminded that whatever attracts the mind from God, whatever draws our affections away from Christ is an enemy to the soul. So we're going to explore today five practices of Unoya you know, yeah, that you can apply to your life. As you have chosen this name, I expect that all of you are adhering to this. Okay. So the first practice of Unoya is number one, empathy and understanding. Unoya 2023, do you have this? Would you consider yourselves as empathetic and understanding individuals? What is empathy? Empathy for short is being able to put yourselves in the shoes of others. Okay? 
being able to feel what others are feeling, and being able to understand what the other person might be feeling. Allow me to share with you an example, or rather an ex um, a story in history. Have you heard of this, the Christmas truce of 1914? There was actually, uh, in, during World War I, on Christmas Eve, there were soldiers from opposing sides, okay? They were supposed to be enemies. Two groups of soldiers who were supposed to be enemies. Now, they decided, why not for one night, we're going to put aside all of our differences, we're going to just be friends for one night. All right, so they met up and they decided, okay, for this night, we are no longer enemies. We're going to put each, each other in each other's shoes and we're going to exchange greetings. We're going to sing together. We're going to eat together. And we're even going to play football together. And so they did that for one whole day. And this display of Unoya amidst conflict and hostility showed the shared humanity and the power of empathy and understanding. Second, forgiveness and letting go. Unoya 2023. Have you forgiven all of those who have wronged you? I hear a resounding yes. That's great. All right. Yunoya teaches us the importance of forgiveness and the ability to let go of grudges. We are reminded of the story of Joseph, who despite being betrayed by his own brothers and being sold into slavery, chose to cultivate a mindset of forgiveness and kindness. So if you've chosen this name, then you must be able to embody it with all your might. And so, Unoya you know, 2023, I hope that you've forgiven everyone who have wronged you before you take the next step of your life. Third practice of Unoya know, is cultivating gratitude. Are you grateful at heart? Are you always thankful? Even if, even if you're undergoing hardship, are you thankful? Yunoya teaches us to practice gratitude by focusing on the good things in life. I'm sure you're familiar with Anne Frank. Anne Frank was a Jewish girl hiding from the Nazis during the World War II, and she demonstrated incredible Yunoya through her diary. In her diary, despite the hardships that she was facing, she was very grateful. And so she continues to inspire millions of people with a message of resilience, optimism, and most importantly, gratitude. The Bible also reminds us in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, in all things, give thanks. The fourth, eunoia. The fourth practice of eunoia is embracing differences. Eunoia helps us to recognize the beauty in diversity and teaches us to embrace differences in others. We are reminded of the story of the Good Samaritan in the Bible. How, do you remember this, Unoya 2023? The Good Samaritan, who was an outsider in the Jewish community, demonstrated Unoya when he encountered a man who was beaten and left by the roadside. He showed compassion, he cared for his wounds, and provided for the needs of this person despite the differences. We also have the example of Mahatma Gandhi, who led a non-violent movement. The enemies against Mahatma Gandhi were all teaching violence, but he was teaching instead peace and taking aside differences. Lastly, the power of kindness and unconditional love. Yunoya teaches us the importance of kindness and its impact on others. Small acts of kindness can brighten someone's day and create a ripple effect of positivity. We are given the example of Mr. Oscar Schindler. Do you know what this man did? When the Jews were being persecuted all throughout the world, what this man did was that he hired Jewish people to work in his company so that he could keep them safe. He was not afraid of the consequences and he was not afraid of being killed, but rather he took them in and he embraced all the differences. And of course, we have Jesus' teachings on love. 
Jesus encouraged his followers and even us today to embrace a mindset of eunoia by loving our enemies. Eunoia 2023, do you have enemies? Of, <laughs> I hear yes. All right. Do you love your enemies? <laughs> okay. Let's hope you do. So Jesus is teaching us, and I'm sure you've already been um, encouraged to do this by your teachers, to love your enemies, to love everyone around you unconditionally. So by taking on these lessons of Eunoia, you can develop a foundation of empathy, kindness, and positive thinking. And I believe that these values will teach you and will help you to become better people, especially for the future that is to come. Eunoia 2023. Your mind is a battlefield. That it is the battleground between good and evil. This world will try hard to push onto you its own agendas. The agenda of pride. The agenda of idol worship. The world will try to tell you, oh, you should be more like these celebrities. You should be more like these famous people. The world will try to teach you indulgence. Yes, go ahead. Satisfy your appetites and your cravings without thinking of the consequences. The world will try to tell you that. The world will try to teach you greed. The only way, the world will try to tell you that the only way you can be happy is having more and more of these things and to um, achieve many more things no matter the cost. Lastly, the world will try to teach you self-sufficiency. The world will try to tell you, Eunoia 2023, that you do not need God. But that is the farthest from the truth. Your name, let your name be an example of the values that you're trying to live by. The world is full of people who do not practice Eunoia. Be those who do. And should you ever lose your way, dear Eunoia, you need only remember this verse, Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Eunoia, you are the future. And I cannot wait to see what impact you will be making in this world and in the world to come. I cannot wait to see the realities your mind will be able to dream of and enact. Keep on cultivating good thoughts and turn those thoughts into good words and good deeds. God bless you all and congratulations, Eunoia class of 2023. Thank you very much, ma'am, for the very inspiring and insightful message you have imparted our gra graduating class for this morning. Your words were, will surely guide our graduating class as they tread a new path in their lives. Now, Shane Chanel G. Albao, the Unoya 2023 artist, will give the response on behalf of the graduating class together with uh, Viancela Jami Manel. To our immense speaker, thank you for giving your time. Thank you for sharing your expertise. It was absolutely superb. On behalf of Yunoya, class of 2023, I would like to offer this plaque of appreciation to Mrs. Kaylin Flora Maglana. Central Philippines Adventist College Elementary School, Alegria Marcia, Negros Occidental, molding and nurturing children for eternity. Plaque of appreciation is hereby given to Ms. Kaylin Flor A. Maglana, Instructor School of Nursing, for the inspiring message delivered during the 31st closing exercises of Unoya 2023 of Central Philippines Adventist College Elementary School with a, with a philosophy, Beautifully Crafted Mind in Christ. Given this, 10th of July, 2023, at CPAC Pioneer Hall, Alegria Morsha, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Signed by President Yunaya Nathan Reyes de Sunico, Vice President for Academic Administration, Julie, Julie Joy Lesificar. Vice President for Advancement, Pastor Jesse J. Aragon. Advisor, Head Teacher, Evan D. Villar. 
Vice President for Student Administration, Pastor Eldin S. Toledo, Vice President for the Finance Administration, Pearl Relme F. Arevalo, and CPAC President, Neda June D. Salazar. Again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. All right. CPACES, are you still all right? Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the most significant moment in every graduation ceremony has come. May I call on Sir Evan Villar for the presenta presentation of candidates for graduation. This is to be followed by the acceptance and confirmation of Dr. Julie Joy R. Lassificar, our VP Academic Administration, CPAC. I know you're smiling and I know you are scared. We will see who will proceed to the next level. Dr. Julie Joy Lasificar, I would like to present to you from the kindergarten. There are seven kindergarten who finished the Philippine Early Childhood Development Program for kindergarten. May I request the kindergarten later on to come up and receive your certificate of completion. May I request them to stand, Mam Novi. Okay, may I request the kinder to stand up. At this point, I would like to present to you Dr. Julie Joy Lasificar. The grade 6 learners who have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the elementary curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education and is therefore awarded this elementary certificate. There are eight boys. Please stand. But where's the other one? And seven girls. By the virtue of power rested upon me by Central Philippine Adventist College Board of Trustees as Vice President for Academic Administration, I now accept the seven kindergarten pupils and 15 pupils as graduates of our elementary. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Unoya you know 2023. You already have a ticket to aim higher and dream bigger. Brace yourselves, Unoya, you know ya, and be prepared for more. Give yourselves a big, big hand for a job well done. Congratulations once again, Unoya you know 2023. Okay, now is the time for the kindergarten to receive their certificate of completion and deportment award. Uh, may we request also our parents, the parents of kindergarten, to usher them. First, Let me read the 
accreditation of the certificate. Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School, Alegria Morsha, Negros Occidental. Government recognition number region 6, ER 33, series of 2009, molding and nurturing children for eternity. Certificate of completion is awarded to the name of the kindergarten with the learner reference number for finishing the Philippine Early Childhood Development Program, Kindergarten, given this 10th day of July 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria Morsha, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Signed by Eleanor V. R. Galupo, LPT Advisor, Mr. Ivan D. Villar, Maed, our head teacher. Mrs. Geraldine R. Orquesta, Maed, Education Director, NOC. Julie Joy R. Lasificar, PhD, VP Academic Administration. And Neda June D. Salazar, PhD President. This certificate of completion is awarded to Jesher J. Arces with the learner reference number 4040802002. He has the Deportment Award of Resourcefulness. May we also request the parents to please come up as your child will be getting their award. The same certificate is awarded to Kyler Infante. Courtesy Award. Certificate of Completion is awarded to Kenzo Ezekiel P. Lisuan with the Deportment Award Enthusiastic. Certificate of Completion is awarded to Herovic J. Minel III, Enthusiastic. The same certificate is awarded to Rick Grant S. Solis, Service Award. of completion is awarded to Adeline Iris E. Bandiola Creativity Award The last but not the least Certificate of Completion is awarded to Althea May E. Villarias Punctuality Award Congratulations, Kindergarten! the grade the graduating the graduates now
Okay, here's the citation. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 6, Western Visayas, Division of Negros Occidental, District of Morsha 1, Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School, presents this certificate to with the learner's reference number who has satisfactorily completed the requirements of the elementary curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education and is therefore awarded this certificate elementary certificate signed in Central Philippine Adventist College Alegria Morsha Negros Occidental Philippines on the 10th of July 2023 signed Dr. Julie Joy R. Lasificar VP Academic Administration Evan D. Villar Principal CPA CES Neda June D. Salazar President CPA C and Jerilyn R. Orquesta Education Director NOC Chris Angelo Q. Arcaliana Sky Brennan M. David with the learner's reference number 4406111500032 John Joseph V. Laranio LRN 4040501 60013 The same certificate is given to Nash B. Kimat with the LRN 117-2851-60055. The cer same certificate is given to Art Andre T. Sarsoza. The learner's reference number 4040801-80018. We have Samuel T. Severi with the LRN 4040080160003. Nathan Reese D. Sunico, LRN 4041061707. The same certificate to Dwight Stephen Valde LRN Wow. 
now with the LRN 4040-8001-60004. Then we have Rizal Feya F. Arevalo with the LRN 4040-801. 60011 Jillian C. Burgos with the LRN 11692215008 We have Maria Angelian and Koliamat with the LRN 4595-0316-0010. Chame Viancela J. Minel 4022- 7016-0005 The last but not the least, Shobim L. Ranan with the LRN 4040801-60006 Okay, the boy, the graduate, the graduates, the boys graduates will be returning. You are going to receive your official graduate sash. Please come up. Congratulations, Unoya 2023. At this point, grades 1 to 5, are you still there? At this point, the serving pupils will now be awarded with medals of honors and certificate of achievements. We would like to request our parents of students with honors or our awardees to come up on stage to give the awards to your children. They will be assisted 
ไป
our Negros Occidental Conference Education Director, Geraldine R. Orquesta, our very own VP Academic Administration, Dr. Jolie Joy Lasificar, and our President, Dr. Nida June Salazar. Category B is awarded to Mayabel L. Ranan. Deportment Award, she is enthusiastic. She is the son of Mr. Ernesto and Mrs. Joan Ranan. Next, we have Category B is awarded to Eldia Anika G. Caniete. She is enthusiastic. She is the son of Mr. Jovan and Mrs. Anneli Caniete. Next, we have Precious Chloe C. Blando. Precious Chloe C. Blando received the Deportment Award Enthusiastic. She is the daughter of Mr. Joey and Mrs. Serena Blando. Requesting the guardian, the parents of Precious Chloe. Another category B is awarded to Carlos the Fourth G. Hardiniano. Carlos the Fourth is Kirchus. He is the son of Dr. Carlos and Mrs. Mary Joy Hardiniano. Another category B is awarded to Ace Ashriel B. Hintapanan. Ace is creative. He is the son of Pastor Delbert and Mrs. Rosaline Hintapanan. Let's proceed category A. Certificate of Academic Performance, Category A, is awarded to Name of a Child for having obtained the average grade of 96 to 100 percent with no grades lower than 85 percent in all grade 1 subjects for school year 2022-2023. Given this 10th day of July, 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria, Morsha, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Category A is awarded to Glyveth Rail T. Tapaya. She is creative. She is the son of Mr. L.B. Ray and Mrs. Ellen Getty White Tapaya. Another category A is awarded to Cher Eliana D. Sonico. Cher Eliana is resourceful. She is the son of Mr. Ellis Gold and Mrs. Esther Sonico. Another category A is awarded to Yana Marvel F. Mendoza. She is an online pupil. She is creative and she is the son of Mark and Meryl Mendoza.
Another category A, an online pupil class, is awarded to Haniel Asher H. Lipitin. He is creative and he is the son of Mr. Edison and Mrs. Nanith Lipitin. Another category A is awarded to Nathan James J. Melieza. Nathan James is service-oriented child. He is the son of Engineer Rene and Mrs. Delcy Melieza. Another category A is awarded to Jeremiah Zeb M. Gamilong. Jeremiah Zeb is courteous. He is the son of Mr. Jerry Ma and Mrs. Jayan Gamilong. And the last one to receive category A, we have Dallas J. Balijong. Dallas is a creative child. He is the son of Pastor Leopold and Mrs. Ivy Hope Balijong. All grade one, congratulations and be ready for the next level. You will be in grade two. Congratulations to all of you and also our dear parents. Parents of the mother. Let's go to the grade two. Let's start with the category D. Category D is awarded to the name of a child for having obtained an average grade of 85% with no grades lower than 80% in all grade two subjects for school year 2022 to 2023. Given the 10th day of July, 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria Morsha, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Signed by Annalisa J. Lirazan, the advisor, Jolly Joy R. Lasificar, PhD, VP Academic Administration, Geraldine R. Orquesta Maed, Education Director, and OC. Nida John D. Salazar, PhD President, and Evan D. Villar, Maed, Head Teacher. And this certificate is given to Miss Sia Diana Joy E. Franco. And she will be awarded also a courtesy award. Next, let's go to Category C. Category C is awarded to name of a child for having obtained an average grade of 85 to 89 percent with no grades lower than 85 percent in all grade two subjects for school year 2022-2023. And there's and this certificate is awarded to Alexandra Danielle D. Baroy. She will receive Enthusiasm Award. Next is Prince B. Hilbolinga. And she will, he will receive Enthusiasm Award. Next, Isa B. Kiman. Enthusiasm Award.
Let's go to category B. Category B is awarded to Adrian C. Burgos. And he will receive the service award. David Prince D. Gabat Enthusiasm Award Enthusiasm Award Ernest John L. Renan Resourcefulness Award Vanilla Evan J. Balijo in absentia. Lady Kizia G. Hardin Yano, Creativity Award. Lyra Kendall I. Haspe, Creativity Award. <music> Natalie P. Nabatan, Punctuality Award. And now let's go to category E, A. Category A is awarded to Axel Gabriel F. Mendoza. Next, Rain V. Hore, Resourcefulness Award. The last, David Franz S. Doroy, Resourcefulness Award. Congratulations, great two.
Let's proceed to grade 3. Let's start from category C. For category C, Juan B. Tabaco Jr. Category C and Punctuality Award. Ephraim R. Arces. Category C and Resource Resourceful Award. Another category C, Renismi A. De Los Reyes and Service Awardee. Now let's proceed to category B. Category B is awarded to Steffi Ritz T. De La Pisa and Creativity Award. Kate Adriel B. Hentapanan and Creativity Award. Jean Chantal H. Vasquez Category B and Courtesy Award Request Pastor Hintapana to assist Kate Idril Hintapana. May I request Pastor Hintapana to be here in the stage. Let's proceed to category A. It's awarded to Charles Onyx P. Guerrero. Category A and Resourceful Award. No, sorry. Category A and Enthusiasm Award. Another category A, Jammer T. Almonte de Sica. In an Enthusiasm Award. Another category A is awarded to Emmanuel Gavin. E. Sarmento and Service Awardee. Another category A is awarded to Achilles Wayne M. Severino and Punctuality Award. Another category A is awarded to Prince Cedric A. Minel and Creative Award. Another category A is awarded to Zerg B. Rosas and Resourceful Award. So congratulations, Grade 3.
Good morning, grade 4. Good morning, parents. Okay, for the grade 4, first, I will start from the Portland Award. Gwyneth Q. Arcaliana, Creative and Courteous Award. Kyle James H. Eas with Creativity Award. Another award for category B. We have Zariel F. Ia with Courtesy Award. Please prepare for another category B. We have Nisanel Bob G. Legaspi with Enthusiastic Award. Please come up on stage. Prince Herovic Virgil A. Minel for Category B and Creativity Award. Another Category B Award for Joan Sebastian B. Tabacog with Punctuality Award. Please be ready, Kelsey Miel C. Casoyon to receive your Category B Award with Creativity Award too. Are you ready? Shamiha P. Tormo, please come up on stage with Category B Award and Service Award. Category A, we have Rendell Dominic J. Melieza with Enthusiastic Award. Another category A. 
we have Sam David M. Severino with Service Award. To receive your category A award to Sophia Bless Billy Nathan with Creativity Award. Congratulations, Grade 4, and thank you so much, parents, for working hand in hand with me for the success of your children. God bless. I will start from category D. La Grama Kathleen Agatha L. Category D, Punctuality Awardee. Jillian Ashley B. Kaasi. Category C, Service Awardee. Alia Zairin A. Agasan, Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Nestme Lorraine R. Deslate, Category B, Creativity Awardee. Millionaire PHN, Category B, Creativity Awardee. Legaspi Naomi Brielle G. Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Zaya M. Tobong Banwa, Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Next, we have Mark Gian Arces, Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Ralph Christian Iver E. Arkel, Category B, Punctuality Awardee. Next, we have Luigi D. Bernardino, 
Category B, Creativity Awardee. John H. Eas, Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Lovin L. A. Fernandez, Pan Category B, Punctuality Awardee. Be ready for category A. Ina Luis V. Antoni, category A, enthusiasm, awardee. Hentapanan Seed AZLB, Category A, Creativity Awardee. Lawrence Ray T. Tapaya, Category A, Resourcefulness and Service Awardee. Congratulations, Grade 5 class. We will move to the Grade 6. All right, this is the moment, grade six. Are you ready? All right, brace yourselves. Now let's begin with category D. Congratulations, Chris Angelo Q. Arcaliana. Category D, Courtesy Awardee. Let's give a round of applause to each of our graduates as they will be receiving their award. Another category D, we have Nash B. Kimat, Service Awardee. May we request the parents to please come up on stage as your child will receive their award. Thank you. Moving on to category B. Get ready to smile, Shimreth G. Agudo, Category B, Courtesy Awarding. Category B with two deportment awards goes to Maria Angelian Kolyamat, 
Resourcefulness and Enthusiasm Awarding. May we request the guardian of Angelian to please come up? All right, we have here. Another category B award goes to Sky Brennan M. David, courtesy awardee. Category B with two department awards, Service and Resourcefulness Awarding. Congratulations. Another category B. We have Jami Viancella J. Minel, Creativity Awarding. Category B goes to Jubim L. Renan, Service Awardee. And we have the last awardee for Category B. We have Art Andre T. Sarsoza. Category B, Courtesy Awardee. Congratulations, Category B Awardees. Okay, now let's begin with the first category A awardee. Dun, 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 dun. All right, category A, congratulations. Shane Chanel G. Albao, Deportment Award, Creativity and Punctuality Award. Category A goes to Rizel Feya F. Arevalo, Service Awardee. Category 
Category A awardee goes to Jillian C. Burgos with two deportment awards, Resourcefulness and Enthusiasm. Samuel T. Severi, Category A, Creativity Award. Another category A is awarded to Nathan Riz D. Sonico. Service and Resourcefulness Awardee. The last but not the least, Category A goes to Dwight Stephen B. Valde with the two deportment awards, Service and Resourcefulness. Congratulations, Grade 6, as you embark another journey to Grade 7. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award that I'm going to that we are going to give is an award from grade one to grade six. This is an awarding of the Academic Excellence Award. I'm going to read the certificate. Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School, Alegria Murcia, Negros Occidental, Government Recognition Number Region 6, ER 33 Series of 2009, Molding and Nurturing Children for Eternity. Certificate of Academic Excellence Category B is proudly presented to Name of the awardee for excelling in all academic subjects with no grades lower than 85% in all learning areas from grades 1 to 6 maintaining a general average of 90 to 100% and no needs improvement grade in character building Given this 10th day of July 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria, Murcia, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Signed, CPAC President Dr. Nedejun D. Salazar. Vice President for Academic Administration, Julie Joy R. Dr. Julie Joy R. Lasificar. Vice President for Student Administration, Dr. Elden S. Toledo, Mr. Evan D. Villar, Principal, and Mrs. Jerilyn R. Orquesta, Education Director, Negros Occidental Conference. The awardee will be receiving also a Medal of Academic Excellence. 
First in the list, we have Sky Brennan M. David. Next in the list, we have John Joseph V. Laranio. We would like to request the parents to be with the child. Art Andre T. Sarsosa. Clap your hands. <laughs> Samuel T. Severe. Dwight Stephen B. Valde. Shane Chanel G. Albao. Jobim L. Ranan Jami Viancela J. Minil and Gillian C. Borgos. The next award is also a Certificate of Academic Excellence Category A for excelling in all academic subjects with no grades lower than 90% in all learning areas from grades 1 to 6, maintaining a general average of 95 to 100% and no needs improvement grade in character building. Given this 10th day of July 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria Murcia Negros Occidental, Philippines. We have two, Nathan Riz D. Sonico and Rizal Fea F. Arevalo. There are surprises soon and very soon. So you're going to wait for that. Wait until the end. The next award that we will be giving is Leadership Award. We have two from the grade six. This award is, give, is given to, or I mean, the Certificate of Leadership is humbly presented to for demonstrating exemplary leadership character in various endeavors of CPAC Elementary School and school year 2022-2023. This award serves as an opportunity for his or her to harness the growth of such skills. Signed, Evan de Villar, Principal, Dr. Jolly Joy R. Lasificar, VP, Vice President for Academic Administration, 
Dr. Eldad S. Toledo, Vice President for Student Administration, and Dr. Neda June D. Salazar, CPAC President. And the two awards goes to Maria Angelian Kuliamat. And Nathan Riz Di Sunico. The next award is a certificate of recognition. This award is rarely given to a graduating class or to anybody. It can be given to a kinder or to a grade six. To grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, and grade five. For this year, we have certificate of recognition is proudly presented to Nathan Riz Di Sunico, please stay. For what purpose? For painstakingly making the music for the philosophy, vision, and mission of CPAC Elementary School. Please clap your hands. A legacy that will be written as a significant part of fulfilling the existence of CPACES and its history. Given this 10th day of July 2023 at CPAC Pioneer Hall, CPAC Alegria Murcia Negros Occidental. We have same signatories. We have the surprises award given. Sir Evan Villar and teachers and once again congratulations CPA CES and Unoya 2023 for the job well done of course to our dear parents who are the constant support of our pupils let's give ourselves a very big hand Okay, thank you. At this juncture, at this juncture, please join me in witnessing the intermission number to be given by the Unoya 2023, and this is entitled The Gift of a Friend.
Ladies and gentlemen, the award that we will be giving is the result of the CPUC achievement tests. You will be receiving a category from the CPUC and NOC. The category from CPUC are the following. You have gold if you get an average grade of during the, the achievement test, if you get 95 to 100 percent gold. You get the silver if you have the grade of 90 to 94. And you get the bronze if you get 85 to 89. While in the NOC category, you have the different. Uh, you have uh, different categories. You get the platinum award if you get 95 to 100 percent. You get the gold if you get 90 to 94 uh, percent. You get the silver if you get 85 to 89 percent, and you get the bronze if you get 80 to 84. Parents and children, be alert. There's no tarp. We will be flashing a video. If you see your name, stand right here right away. And after we play the video, you are going to go up. We are not going to call your name, but you will be flashed on screen. Are you ready? Be ready. Ready or not ready, the judgment and the announcement has come. Parents, you can also join with your children when the name of your, child, of your child is flashed on screen.
Are you surprised? Okay. There are always surprises at the end of your journey. Okay? Uh, NOC category by grade level. I would like to request still our operator to kindly flash once more while they are going up. Thank you so much. You can start going up now according to your grade level. Opilas Gabriel, Trinidad Daniel, NOC. Sound, please. Please go up. We would like to request the parents also to come up on stage. Next, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nathalie Nabatdan and David Prince Gaba. Okay. Hardiniano, Lady Kisaya, Jared Paguntalan, and Isa Kimat. Congratulations. We would like also to request our speakers to kindly shake hands with our awardees. Steffi Rich de la Pieza and Renis May de los Reyes. Congratulations. Sariel Ia and Kelsemiel Kasuyon. Nathaniel Bob Ligaspe. Shamiha Tormo and Kyle James Iaz. Millionaire Haen, Zia Tubong Banwa, and Mark Guian Arces. Nash Kimat, Angelian Koliamat, and they. Sky Brennan David. Congratulations. Silver and OC and bronze CPUC. Chloe Hutch. Zillian Kairi Tugaf and Prince Joseph Parki, Adrian Borgos and Ernest John Ranan. Prince Cedric Menil and Emmanuel Gavin Sarmiento with Achilles Wayne Severino. Hero Virgil Minil, Sam David Severino, and Joan Sebastian Tabaco. Luigi B. 
Bernardino, Sid Aisyal Hintapanan, Alia Zairin Agasan. Ina Luis Antoni, Naomi Brilli Gaspi, and Lorraine Lobrobaton. Shane Chanel Albao, Dwight Steven Balde, and Shimreth Agudo. Jan Joseph Laranio and Gillian Burgos. to 94% and silver CPUC. Grade 1, Ace Asheriel Quintapanan, Precious Chloe Blando, and Carlos Cardiniano IV. Those who are bronze, silver, and gold CPUC awardee will receive uh, a medal. Eldia Anika Caniete and Miabel Radan. Kendall Jaspe. If you can see your name flash, don't hesitate to come up. Grade 3, Jammer Almonte and Zir Rosas. Charles Onyx Guerrero.
Grade 4, Rendell Dominic Miliesa and Sophia Bless Linatan. Samuel Severi and Jobem Ranan. CPUC, a platinum and OC and gold CPUC. Those who got an average grade of 95 to 100 percent. If you can see your name flashed on screen, just go up. Okay, we have already the last two golds and platinum awarding. Okay, again, I would like to explain that those who receive the CPUC, CPUC gold, silver, and bronze will receive a medal. Okay, CPUC category. Okay, may I call on those who missed their certificates? Sid A. Shelby Hintapanan. Bronze CPUC, Naomi Braille Ligaspe. Luigi Bernardino, you missed your CPUC certificate. 
Alia Zairin Agasan. Ina Luis V. Antoni, you missed your CPUC. Please go back. Nesme Lorraine Bislate. Sam David M. Severino, you missed your CPUC bronze. Prince Hero Virgil Minil. Emmanuel Gaben Sarmiento. Achilles Wayne Severino Ernest John L. Ranan Okay, kindly get your CPUC certificates Kindly get your CPUC certificate and also Zillian. Zillian and Prince Joseph. And Emmanuel Gaven Sarmiento. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't miss this very important award. This is a missionary certificate award. We would like to request the child to come up. Please form your lines by grade level. Okay? This is awarded to all children who shared unconditionally a certain amount for the sparks showing purpose, action, and resilience by kindling sacrifice project piso mo pangarap ko to help children and need to avail quality advances education and the future signed by the advisor vp finance administration mrs pearl relmay arevalo principal even de billiar dr elden s toledo dr julie joy lasificar and dr uh, jesse j aragon jr please Formulized by grade level. Grade one, please come up. This is the most important. Dallas Balijong, Jeremiah Zeb Gamilong, Ace Asheral Hintapanan. Carlos J. Hardiniano IV, Nathan James J. Meliesa, please form your lines at the left side, Gabriel Opilas, Haniel Asher Lep Lepitin, Daniel M. Trinidad, Precious Chloe Blando, Eldia Anika Caniete, Arian Francisco, 
Chloe B. Hatch, Iana Marvel Mendoza, Mayabel Ranan, Cher Eliana Sonico, Glivet Realty Tapaya, Kinder, Althea May E. Villarias, Adeline Ayres Banjola, Rick Grant S. Solis, Herovic J. Menel III, Kenzo Exequiel P. Lisuan, Kyler Infante, Jesser J. Arces. Grade 2, Isa Kimat, Nathalie Nabatdan, Rain V. Jorge, Lyra Kendall Jaspe, Lady Kisaya Hardiniano, Seya Diana Joy Franco, Alexander Daniel Baroy, Penela Ivo Ivain Balidyong, Zillian Kaire Tuga, Ernest John Ranan, Jared Paguntalan, Axel Gabriel Mendoza, Prince Joseph Harke, Prince Hill Bulinga, David Prince D. Gabat, David Franz S. Doroy, and Adrian C. Borgos. Grade 3, Regine Chantal Vasquez, Renes May de los Reyes, Stephen Rich de la Pieza, Joan B. Tabaco, Aquiles Wayne M. Severino, Emmanuel Gavin Sarmiento, Zerg B. Rosas, Prince Cedric Menil, Charles Onyx P. Guerrero, Kate Adriel Hintapanan, Ephraim R. Arces, Jammer T. Almonte. Grade 4, Zariel F. Ia, Nathaniel Bob J. Ligaspe, Rendell Dominic J. Meliesa, Prince Hero Virgil Menil, Sam David Severino, Joan Sebastian Tabaco, Gwyneth Q. Arcaliana, Kelsey Miel Casuyon, Sophia Bless Linatan, Shami Happy Tormo. Grade 5, Mark Guillan Arces, Ralph Christian Iver Arkel, Luigi Bernardino, Sid Aishel Hintapanan, Loven L. Fernandez, Clarence Ray Tapaya, Alia Zairin Agasan, Ina Luis V. Antoni, Nestme Lorraine R. Dislate, Millionaire P. Haen, Kathleen Agata L. Lagrama, Naomi Brill G. Ligaspe, Zia M. Tobongbanwa. Grade 6, Jobem Ranan, Jami Viancela J. Menil, Maria Angelian Kuliama, Gillian C. Borgos, Rizel Feya Arevalo, Shane Chanel Albao, Shimreth G. Agudo, Dwight Stephen B. Valde, Nathan Risti Sonico, Samuel Siveri, Art Andre Sarsosa, Nash Kimat, John Joseph Laranio, Sky Brennan David, and Chris Angelo Q. Arcaliana. Congratulations everyone, not only you excel academically, but you also excel in service. May God bless you and congratulations to everyone.
our dear parents, and also our children. God bless you. to please return to your seat now. Once again, congratulations for the job well done, CPA, CES pupils. At this very moment, let us all focus our attention. I'm requesting all the graduates, please return to your seat. Okay, thank you. I think we are all settled and seated. Again, this very moment, let us focus our attention as Dr. Eldin S. Toledo, the CPAC Vice President for Student Administration, will give his charge to the graduates. Let's give him a warm round of applause. I offer my most sincere congratulations to each of you. I am also extending my special congratulations to the parents, guardians, sponsors, families, and friends. There are people in the hall today who share in your achievement. And likewise, I congratulate the faculty of Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School Department who provide you knowledge and support walking beside you on the road of this momentous event. It is a proud day for them as well. Today, we gather here to celebrate a significant milestone in your lives as you bid farewell to your elementary years and prepare to embark on the next chapter of your journey. It is with great joy 
and pride that we commend each and every one of you for your accomplishments, hard work, perseverance. Thus, congratulations to UNIA of 2023. Today, I charge you to go and continue to imbibe and embody the values of your beloved alma mater. Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Thus, as Christians, you are called to love God personally. You are called to love God intentionally. You are called to love God actively. And you are called to love God compassionately. Just as it was not enough for Jesus to merely take on human flesh at his incarnation, just it was not enough for Jesus to suffer and die on that cruel cross, just it was enough for Jesus to merely rise from the dead on the third day, it was enough for you to merely complete your graduation requirements and to receive your elementary certificate of com completion today, more is still needed. You are still in the process of self-discovery. You have an equal opportunity to get good education. Thus, challenge yourselves to maximize your God-given talents to improve the quality living condition of the community. Go back to school. Push yourselves to the limit in obtaining senior and college education to become an agent of change for the common good. I charge you to be, life, to be a lifelong learners. It will give you an edge in get, getting right and lucrative job in this qualification and skill conscious society. It will increase your employability and promotions later in life. It broadens your knowledge. It can prolong life because according to David Tomar in his article, Lifelong Learners Live Longer, he says, if the brain is not challenged with this new learning, its capabilities can gradually erode over time, leading to decreased memory and cognitive function. If you stop learning, it can lead to early death. As you become lifelong learners, you can feel the skills gap. Be an expert in your chosen career. As you continuously honing your God-given talents, and committing to the service to God and your fellow men, it will make you specialists in your chosen vocation. Thus, it can lead to self-actualization for the honor and glory of your Creator. I charge you to be a lifelong learner of the Word of God. Psalms 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. The Bible is loaded with wisdom for your day-to-day -day living. Immerse yourselves with the word of God. David says in Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit on the seat of the scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night, and he will be like a tree firmly planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruits 
in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and, when, and in whatever he does, he prospers. I charge you to model Christ's prayer life. Mark chapter 1 verse 35 says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. The Christ model of prayer life reminds us of the power of surrender in prayer. Jesus, in the Garden of Gethsemane, prayed, Not my will, but yours be done. Learn to surrender your own desires and ambition to God's greater plan. Trust in His wisdom and divine timing. Even when circumstances may seem uncertain or challenging, surrendering allows you to align yourselves with God's purpose, opening the door for His grace and guidance to flow in into your lives. I charge you to trust in the Lord and commit your life to Him. When you trust the Lord, you acknowledge that He is the ultimate source of wisdom and guidance. And as you navigate through life's complexities, seek His counsel through prayer, meditation, and reflection. Trust that He will direct your paths even when the way forward may seem unclear and unfamiliar. Have faith and He will provide you with insights, the strengths and the discernment needed to make the right decision. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Finally, I charge you to be a man of peace and a woman of peace. Peace begins within ourselves. Nurture a sense of inner peace by nurturing your mental and emotional well-being. Practice self-care and self-compassion to avoid compassionate fatigue. For when we are at peace with ourselves, can we spread peace to others. Seek to understand and embrace diversity that exists in this world. We live in a beautifully diverse society where people come from different cultures, backgrounds, and perspectives. Embrace these differences and view them as opportunity for growth and enrichment. Engage in conversation with open hearts and open minds. Listen actively and seek common ground. By understanding and appreciating another, we can break down barriers and build bridges of peace. Practice empathy and compassion towards others. A simple smile, a listening ear, or a helping hand can make someone day brighter and contribute to a more peaceful atmosphere. Seek opportunity to serve your communities, to extend a helping hands to those in need, and foster a culture of compassion and care. Completers, as you move forward into the next phase of your lives, remember that the world needs individuals like you. Committed to the ideals of peace and harmony, embrace the challenges that lie ahead for they provide opportunities for growth and transformation. Do not be discouraged by the magnitude of tasks at hand. It is through small intentional actions that lasting change is born. I want to congratulate each and every one of you in this remarkable achievement. You have successfully completed your elementary education and now the world awaits your contributions. Imbibe and embody CPAC core values of competence, humility, respect, integrity, 
self-sacrifice, and teamwork. Be a lifelong learner both in the physical and, physical and spiritual world. Model Christ's prayer life. Trust the Lord and carry out the message of peace in your hearts. Be ambassadors of peace and inspire others through your words, your deeds, and your unwavering commitment to creating a better, more peaceful world. Congratulations once again on reaching this milestone and may the future be filled with fulfillment, joy, and success. Thank you and best wishes, UNIA Class uh, 2023 of Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Dr. Toledo. And of course, congratulations to our graduates. May you live with those advices given to you today. At this point, with a round of applause again, lend your ears to the treasurer of Unoya 2023, Sky Brennan M. David, to the presentation of their class gift. And this will be accepted by our CPAC Vice President for Finance Administration, Mom Pearl Relme F. Arevalo. Our dear administrators, our dear administrators, our dear administrators, every supportive and caring teacher, loving parent, and our earnest and growing brothers and sisters, before the curtain closes, our chapter of our our six years of staying in our dear alma mater. It is the desire of Unoya 2023 to be always part of the existence, the six years of being with our dear alma mater. CPAC Elementary School molded us to what we will become in the future. The heart, the heart and the fig fingerprints will always be part of our growth and development. Our identity of Inoyans will always be a significant part as we will leave its portal with the hope that our proposed projects, the CPACES landmark will stand not only as a remembrance but a legacy that will mark CPACES best. God bless CPACES and more power to our dear VP Fiance administration Administration, Miss Pearl Realming F. Arevalo will humbly leave to you our prop proposed CPACES landmark. Good afternoon. I stand here to represent the CPAC administration as well as the parents of UNOYA 2023. UNOYA 2023, don't you know that every time graduation comes, it's my role to accept class gifts? But this time, I am twice as much thankful to accept this class gift on behalf of the CPAC Elementary School. Why? Because as one of the parents of UNOYA 2023, I am grateful that I have taken part, especially on behalf of my daughter, to share our financial blessings to make this legacy possible. Do you agree with me, parents, that you share the same feeling with me? 
I came to understand that this is a long time wish or dream of the principal, Sir Even. And we are so thankful that we are instruments to help realize this project and make this project possible. So on behalf of CPAC administration, the faculty of CPAC ES, your alma mater, it's my great honor and privilege to accept this token of your loyalty and gratitude to CPAC ES for molding you to become a beautifully, to have a beautifully crafted mind in Christ. And besides, it means that you have also shared in the financial burdens of CPAC as a whole. That makes me twice as much thankful to you and to your parents. So it's my sincerest prayer and desire that as you proceed to the next level of your career, you will make Christ to be your constant molder and guide of your life to become more and more beautifully crafted by God to be of service to Him and humanity. So again, you know, 2023, thank you very much. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you very much, Mom Arevalo. Thank you so much, Sky Brennan and John Joseph. At this moment, Please, you know, yeah, please join your batch. Uh, the, our Vice President, Gillian Burgos, in reciting the Pledge of Loyalty. Graduates, please rise. Please raise your right hand. I state your name. Member of the Unoya class of 2023 of Central Philippine Adventist College Elementary School solemnly swear that I will uphold the values and traditions of my beloved alma mater. I will live with the ideals taught by our loving mentors. I pledge to be ready to shine to whenever my feet will lead me. Always apt to serve in my own little way. A blessing to whom I come in contact with. Faithful and diligent in whatever task I am assigned to and always prepared to do my best in everything I do. So help me God. Down. Hey, please take your seat. You know, yeah, 2023, the time you step out from this place, you were already be called CPACES alumni. And uh, you will be, at this very moment, you will be welcome to CPAC Academy. So this morning, we're going to have Dr. Stephen De La Rama, the principal of CPAC Academy, to welcome you, but in his behalf, we will have Mom Linatan. A round of applause, please. Amazing morning to everyone. Still morning, one minute, it's noon already. 
So we gathered here together to celebrate and witness the graduation ceremony of Batch 2023. I am honored to have this opportunity to welcome you to Central Philippine Adventist College Academy on behalf of our principal, Dr. Stephen D. Dilarama, and our teachers. I heartily welcome all of you graduating students to our academy. As you embark on this new journey, I know you have a lot of questions in your mind. Maybe some of you are scared. Ano na sa grade 7, man? But don't be scared. It is very important to remember this, that you are not alone. We are here to support and guide you every step of the way. God bless everyone and congratulations. Thank you very much, ma'am. Our program is coming to an end. This time, let us listen to the farewell message of Nathan Reese D. Sunico, the president of Unoya 2023. He is going to give his farewell address. Please give him a round of applause. Amazing afternoon and a beautiful day to everyone. I extend my warmest welcome to all who are present at this gathering today, especially to our loving parents, dear teachers, respected guests, and my fellow graduates who come to witness this occasion. Today is a very big day for us graduates. Not only for us, but also for our parents who are proud, I'm sure, to see us reach this milestone. This, my fellow graduates, is the moment we have been striving for. For six years, we have worked so hard in completing our elementary education. With the help of our teachers, the sacrifices of our parents, and the companionship of our friends, we were able to triumph over our struggles and finally accomplish our goals. Let us celebrate and enjoy this moment. On behalf of the batch 2022-2023, I would like to thank every person who has been a part of our elementary journey. Surely, we would not succeed without your help. To our teachers, we will not be able to fully express our gratitude to you. Our dear moms and sirs, you have taught us the basic lessons in life, and we will never forget those, like our reading, numeracy, and writing skills. You engaged us in pathfindering, and this really helped us to be disciplined in our time management and self-control. The love and passion that we see in you as you teach every day is truly appreciated. The kindness, patience, and understanding and the godly values you model in and out of the classroom are the most important traits we cherish and hope to emulate. To our ever supportive parents, we know that we will not be able to repay all those sleepless nights and sacrifices you made to give us the Christian education we need. You pushed us and encouraged us when we were tired to keep on going. You persuaded us and motivated us to try again and again when we fail. You dream for us bigger than what we can dream for ourselves. We promise you that we will pursue your aspirations for us. To our friends, and my fellow graduates, Unaya 2023, I thank you for your companionship, 
I always appreciate your presence in lifting up my mood. I will not say goodbye, but see you around. Even when we part ways, may we give each other the inspiration we need to pursue our dreams. I am certain that the next time we will meet each other, we will have the same smiles and same warmth of friendship as before. To our alma mater, thank you for being a central part of our learning. You molded us into responsible citizens of this world and in the world to come. It is not easy for, easy for us to say farewell, but goodbyes we must say. For we must embark onward to the next chapter of our lives. You've done your part in preparing us to face the new beginning. We may leave your portals, but you will never leave our hearts, as we will carry with us the knowledge, skills, and values you have instilled in us. And we express the ultimate gratitude to the one whom we owe everything, our dear Heavenly Father. We have been blessed by his loving mercy and unfathomable grace. He is the main reason why we are all standing here today as graduates. Our master teacher who sustained us with his love and mercy and endowed us with heavenly wisdom. Fellow graduates, the night has passed, the day has come. Let us welcome the new day and embrace the challenge it brings. Let us chase our dreams. Joshua 1.9 says, be strong and take courage. Do not fear nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Therefore, let us continue to hope in, a Lord, in the Lord. Let us run and not be weary. Let us walk and not faint. Let us always carry our motto in our hearts. Beautifully crafted mind in Christ. Let us continue to be a blessing to others wherever we go. Blessings to all. Thank you, Nathan. You know, ya, yeah? please prepare your class song. You are going to sing the song you have prepared, Beautifully Crafted Mind. This song was composed by Shane Chanel G. Albao. Maria Angelian N. Kolyamat and Gillian C. Borgos. We 
pop tart, pleasing melody, acoustics, everything on strike on a ball. A kick and we might fall. A prodigy in every way, especially to all. Welcome on, so you know you start the triumph, open up the gates. We are ready, start the race. Grab the blind and cry.
Okay, thank you very much. You know ya, 2023. Okay, to end this program, I would like everybody to stand. We are going to sing the CPACES school song. Okay, this will be followed by the closing prayer by Mr. Jezer Arces, our parent from kindergarten. Uh, everyone to bow your heads as we seek the Lord in prayer. We would like to praise you and thank you, the Lord, for the success of moving up in the division ceremony. O Lord our God, we pray for the students. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and mercy. Enable them to stay true for their dreams and use them mightily as they continue their studies, continue their dreams, or pursue their dreams in their lives. We pray for our protection, O God, as we separate our ways to our different, um, our different um, homes and destination. I pray for the safe of parents who are going home today. And may you give us protection and guidance, good health and strength. Forget and forget our sins. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. We still have our recessional. On behalf of the CPA CES faculty, we joyfully congratulate their graduates and parents. We sincerely thank all the persons behind who made all these things possible, those who helped and supported us, and all our guests who attended this momentous event. We still have our recessional. We will start from our participants above. And then this will be followed by the Yonoya. Know